Well, hello, YouTube. This is Born Wood of Ale. This is your reading for April the 1st to April the 15th. So, this is for all fire signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So, let's get started. The first card that we have is Forgiving and Learning. Uh, fire signs, you have a hard time of forgiving and learning. Uh, we are still in retrograde, which is not a good thing. And Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, you like to get back at people. And that's not a good thing. Revenge. A lot of you through the retrograde, which started and will not end till probably the end of April. And then we're going into another retrograde in May. Uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. When somebody does you something wrong in the past, you hold on to it and then you lash out in the future. Um, you try to get back at them. Revenge is not a good thing because when you do vengeful things, karma is a bitch. So you have to remember when you get back at people's, people, uh, fire signs, that shit's going to come back on you. Um... It could be anything from breaking up relationships, uh, meddling where your nose doesn't belong. But you're going to find out in the long run that it's not beneficial to you because, and this is not pertaining to everybody, this is pertaining to some because there's millions of people watching. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, you got to learn to forgive. It's just the bottom line. You can't go around hating on people. And trying to get back for something that somebody has done to you. Um, you got to learn to let it go. Which is very hard for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius when somebody does something to them in the past. But we're in 2019 now. And it's just a bunch of bullshit that you guys keep trying to get back at people for something that they did in the past. Or something that you feel that needs to be said you could call somebody to get killed. You could call somebody to, for harm to come to them. And then after a few weeks or months go by, you, you want to know if they're okay. Um, but at the time, you open up your damn mouth and you don't think about shit before you say something. And that could get somebody seriously hurt. So you guys got to watch your mouth. Seriously. That's a problem you guys have. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So some of you are in a relationship and there's, like it says, there's just not enough attraction between you two or chemistry. It's okay for the moment, but it's, it's not going to last. There's a lot of relationships breaking up the spring and summer. So because a lot of you, Aries, Leo, and Sag, fire signs, are starting your new path in life. So whether you like it or not, the universe is taking over. The universe said, I'm sick of this shit. You guys have been doing this long enough. So I'm going to reveal some things that you may not like. And if this person is not right for you, then the universe is going to take over. Or, Aries, Leo, Sag, somebody's going to interfere in your relationship because you've done this shit in the past. So expect that karma to come back on you. So the bottom line is, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, if you're in a relationship that's not really going anywhere, uh, a lot of the relationships are going to end. And sex is basically the only thing that you've got going on at this time. So retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So a lot of you that are in a relationship where you do love each other, and you're married or engaged or just boyfriend and girlfriend moved in together, living together, you guys are going to go off and just say fuck to the rest of the world. I'm sick of this shit. Um, I'm tired of so-called friends. I'm so tired of family members. I'm just sick of every damn buddy and their bullshit. So you two are just going to say get married if you're not married already. And whoever you were with or whoever you were talking to, um, you two are just, just kind of like going to get married and wander off and just leave that rest of this shit behind. 
So the next card is you see Honeymoon. Aries Leo Sag. You guys are going to be getting married to spring, summer, or later on this year, beginning of next year sometime. So a lot of you will be going to different countries. It could be another city, state, you know, it, it could be anywhere by water. And a lot of you, since um, Pisces and Cancer and Scorpio are water signs, you could be involved with one of those signs. But there's a lot of water around you, Aries, Leo, and Sag. A lot of water. So then you got your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. A lot of you, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, are with the people that you're supposed to be with right now. You're very much in love, sexually attracted to one another. There's a lot of passion and romance. Um, when you're together, it just, it just feels so right. And when you're apart, it feels terrible. Some of the women cry, the men, they sob, you know. Uh, but when you're together, the love is flowing, the romance, the passion, the sex is great. So the person that, that you are with, and a lot of you are with a water sign, uh, this is a romance of a lifetime. This is your twin flame, and the person that you're supposed to be married to, or going to get married to. And yes, this is your soulmate. Aries Leo Satch. So remember that you got to listen to my other videos too and put them together because you got to check your moon and sun rising. Just because you were born an Aries Leo or Sag, you have to put your other two into that and look at all three videos and, and then it will all connect. Like I say, this doesn't resonate with everyone. Watch my other videos, please. So the person that you're with, once again, it's, it's a love of a lifetime. You two had a past life together, and you're reconnecting in this lifetime. And you will end up marrying, if you haven't already. You deserve love, and you are lovable, which is what the card says, Aries, Leo, and Sag. You know, you guys have been in some relationships in the past that just didn't work out, and you feel like you really weren't loved but you deserve love. And in this lifetime, 2019, you're either going to meet the person you're supposed to be with or you are with the person that you're with and somehow you guys just can't reconnect at this time. Maybe you live in different places. Maybe there's a, um, a three-way affair. Maybe it's just that you're in the military, you're out of town. Whatever it is, you guys are going to connect this year. And you guys are going to make it work, Aries Leon Satch. You're going to make it work. So I'm going to pull another card for you. Wow. Give your relationship a chance. A lot of you have maybe been separated for a while or you couldn't see each other because you're working. Or there were some family issues or you went out of town, college, whatever it may be. Um, you two know that you're perfect for each other. You both know it because you both said it. Your heart aches when you're apart. You yearn for each other. So if you've had any problems within your relationship, Aries, Leo, or Sag, try to mend it because the, the person that you're with really is the person you're supposed to be with. And I still say it's a water sign. Calling in your soulmate. A lot of you have called in your soulmate already, the person that you're supposed to be with. Your prayers that you've been praying for, just like the card said, um, you prayed for this man or woman to be in your life. You even visualized it. And that together brings it together. And if you've been doing any spells or lighting your parchment paper and burning it outside or just lighting a candle and looking into the candle and praying about it, the universe heard you. So, the, like, a, once again, Aries, Leo, and Sag, this is the person that you were supposed to be with and that you are with. So on that note, Aries, Leo, and Sag... Um, God bless you. I wish you the best. And as you can see, I'm burning my candle in the back for fast money blessings. Um, I put the Star of David in there. I put my money oil in there. I wrote on my candle all around it. So I let that burn till it goes out. So if you get a fast money candle, you can go to the dollar store and get it. They're like $2.99, I believe. If you go to a psychic store, Amazon, you could get these candles.